Hey, what are you doing? Don't let your time be stolen. Wonder why I'm saying this? If you're curious, check this out. Long, long time ago, people used to believe that time was cyclical, following patterns and rhythms in nature. They observed the regular cycles of the sun, moon, and seasons, and from this, they deduced that time itself must be circular in nature. Disbelief in the cyclical nature of time influenced various aspects of their cultures, including their religious rituals, calendars, and agricultural practices. It wasn't until much later in human history, with the advancement of scientific understanding, that people began to conceive of time as a linear and unidirectional concept, constantly moving forward, which revolutionized their perspectives on the world and our place in it. That's how our story started. So, let's talk about the time, sometimes the time you are wasting for nothing. Consider those moments when we find ourselves watching something we don't really enjoy on TV or online. During those times, we may not even realize that we're using up our precious time. And here's the thing about time, once it's gone, we can't get it back. When we're young, we often don't pay much attention to how we use our time. But as we grow older, we start to realize just how valuable time is. Imagine getting older, and suddenly, even just five minutes feels incredibly important. Time is running out! If we spend those five minutes on something unimportant, we end up regretting it. When we're young, we often don't care or realize this, as it may seem like a natural part of life. But as time goes on, we come to appreciate the true value of each moment. What's really interesting is that time is something we can't rewind or recover. For example, think about times when you gave your time to a friend just to avoid hurting their feelings or when you watched a movie you didn't really want to see. Once that time is spent, it's gone, and there's no way to get it back. Recently, I let my child watch a YouTube video, and he didn't like it. He yelled at me, saying, you stole my time. Give me back those five minutes. Surprisingly, huh? I liked his response huh? because it made me realize that the more careful we are with our time, the more we appreciate its value. Now, we all know how valuable time is. Even if you're incredibly wealthy, when you're old, you can't use your money to buy back even a single minute of your time. This highlights just how valuable every single minute and second of our time truly is. But, sometimes, we wonder about the nature of time itself. Who created it? Does it even exist? Have you ever noticed that time can feel like it's flying by, especially when we're not paying attention? On the other hand, when we're really looking forward to something important, it can feel like time is moving very slowly. Let's explore time from a scientific perspective. Imagine time as a river that keeps flowing forward, just like Isaac Newton saw it in the 17th century. He thought of it like an arrow shot from a bow, going in a straight line at a constant speed. In his view, time was like a giant clock that kept ticking, no matter what was happening in the world. This idea made sense for a long time and helped us understand the universe. Now, let's fast forward to 1905, when Albert Einstein came up with a mind-blowing idea. He said that the speed of light, which is incredibly fast, never changes. It always moves at the same speed, about 186,282 miles per second, or 299,792 kilometers per second. This was a game changer. Einstein's theory, called special relativity, had a big impact on how we think about time. According to him, time isn't the same for everyone and everywhere. It can stretch and shrink, depending on how fast you're moving or how strong gravity is. This is like saying that time isn't just a river, it's more like a flexible rubber band, and it can stretch or squeeze depending on what's happening around it. For example, if you were in a spaceship traveling really fast, time would pass more slowly for you compared to someone who is not moving at all. This might sound strange, but it has been proven true through experiments. Time is a fundamental concept that plays a crucial role in our understanding of the universe and our daily lives. Here are some interesting facts about time. Time is relative, Albert Einstein's theory of relativity revolutionized our understanding of time. It introduced the concept that time is not an absolute constant but rather relative to an observer's motion and gravity. This theory has been experimentally confirmed and has far-reaching implications for our understanding of the cosmos. 
different time zones, Earth is divided into multiple time zones, each roughly 15 degrees of longitude wide. This division helps to keep time synchronized as the Earth rotates, despite being a 24-hour day. Leap seconds, to account for variations in the Earth's rotation, leap seconds are occasionally added to Coordinated Universal Time, UTC, to keep it synchronized with atomic time. These adjustments ensure that our clocks remain accurate with the rotation of the Earth. Time dilation, according to Einstein's theory of relativity, time passes more slowly for objects in motion relative to those at rest. This phenomenon, known as time dilation, has been experimentally observed and is a key aspect of modern physics. The arrow of time, time has a directionality known as the arrow of time. It flows from the past to the present and then into the future. This asymmetry is deeply connected to the increase in entropy, or disorder, in the universe. Time travel theories. Time travel is a popular concept in science fiction, but it remains a theoretical possibility in physics. Some theories, such as closed time-like curves and wormholes, suggest that time travel might be achievable under certain conditions. Atomic clocks. Atomic clocks are incredibly precise timekeeping devices that use the vibrations of atoms, often cesium or rubidium, to measure time. These clocks are essential for modern technology and are used in GPS systems, telecommunications, and scientific research. The International Dateline. The International Dateline is an imaginary line that roughly follows the 180th meridian in the Pacific Ocean. Crossing this line results in a change of date, moving from one day to the next, and can create interesting time disparities. Time zones and daylight saving time. Many regions of the world observe daylight saving time, where clocks are set forward in the spring and back in the fall to make better use of daylight. This practice can affect timekeeping and schedules. Psychological perception. Our perception of time can vary depending on our activities, age, and individual experiences. Time may seem to pass more quickly when we are engaged in enjoyable activities and more slowly when we are bored or anxious. Time measurement. The most commonly used units for measuring time are seconds, minutes, hours, days, months, and years. These units help us organize and understand the passage of time. Time and space. In space, time operates differently due to the effects of gravity and relative motion. Astronauts aboard spacecraft experience time dilation, which means their onboard clocks run slightly slower than those on Earth. As we come to the end of this journey through the fabric of time, we are reminded of its remarkable significance in our lives. Time is not just a concept, it's the essence of our existence, the tapestry upon which our stories are woven. We've heard the wisdom of great minds who've pondered its mysteries. Lao Tzu once said, time is a created thing. Time, as we've seen, is not our enemy, it's a canvas upon which we paint our lives. Every moment is an opportunity to create, to learn, to love, and to live. Let us not merely watch time pass but seize it, for it's the currency of life, and once spent, it can never be refunded. As we conclude our exploration of time, I leave you with this thought, time is not an enemy to fight but a friend to embrace. It is the silent companion on our journey, a reminder that our moments are finite and precious. So, let's make each tick of the clock count, let's fill our lives with experiences, love, and purpose. With the dawn of each new day, remember that the power to shape your story lies in your hands. The past is but a memory, the future a dream, but today, today is your canvas. Paint it with purpose, live it with passion, and cherish every second of it. Thank you for joining us on this exploration of time. As the seconds turn into minutes and the minutes into hours, may your journey through time be filled with wonder, meaning, and fulfillment.